Hello guys, this is Sandra here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. It's lovely to have you here and I hope you're gonna enjoy your time. It's an exciting day as this is the very first update of my A Pen Palette Project Pen. So basically what this is that rather than focusing on a whole eyeshadow palette to pen, which is what I've done in the previous two years, I focus on five different eyeshadow palettes and I choose an eyeshadow in each to hit pen on and then I move on to the next palette. So this palette will go, this palette, this project will go on for as long as I either hit pen in every single eyeshadow palette or as long as I want to keep it going, I guess. If you want to join me, let me know. It would be quite fun to have more people participating in this. So the way I do it is that if you watch my intro, if not, I will link it up in the cards and in the box below as well is that I randomly generated five eyeshadow palettes but then I choose the shade from each palette myself so that way I can work on shadows that I enjoy or that work well with each other if I want to use them together I just feel like that's quite a fun way to do it I guess so without blubbering on for too long um, Let's hop into this. Also, if you like this eyeshadow look that I'm wearing, I have a video coming up on it um, after this. So keep your eyes peeled if you want to subscribe so you don't miss it. But for now, let's just jump into the shadows. So I'm not too sure in what order I talked about them in the previous video. I'm gonna just pick them up as I go. So the first one is the With Love Cosmetics palette. And this is the natural one and I chose this nice neutral shade in this palette. Now, as you will see from the progress pictures as well, while there is definitely some wear and tear starting to show, it's nowhere near pen yet. I think it will take me a bit longer than I expected it to. Sorry, there's something in my eye. Oh my god, it was a long piece of fluff or cat hair. Oh dear. Alright, now that I cried half of my eyeshadow off because of that fluff in my eye, we can continue talking about this. So there's definitely some wear and tear showing on it, but it's not enough to call it a dip, I don't think. Um, but hopefully you can see it in the pictures as well. I can see it in real life compared to the previous pictures that there is definitely some usage on it. I usually just dip my eyeshadow brush like head on in there. Which is definitely why you see this like little pattern of dots forming in there. Um, I think this will take me a bit longer than I expected it to, so we'll see how long it takes for me to hit pan it. But I use it quite often, even just to map out where I want to put my crease shade. And I use it in quite a lot of looks that I've done. Um, I haven't really documented a lot of looks that I've done with these shadows and also I've been really sick and really ill last week so keep it in mind that this is more of a two and a half weeks progress or three weeks rather than a whole month because I was really not well and I just spent a whole week in bed but um, if you want me to document eye looks that I do with these shadows if it's something you would like to see let me know I can definitely do that Another shadow that I have used in today's look, but I don't feel like there's much progress on it, is from the Beauty Bay and Nikki Tutorials palette, and it's the shade Pride. So again, you will see the pictures, I think it will be really hard to see in pictures, but in real life you can see there's definitely usage there, and, oh, let me try to block it out, and there's a bit of like a dip going on, it's really hard to show because I don't really see what I'm doing. But <laughs> there's definitely a good dip going on in there, but whereas with some shadows you can go strategically in with a brush, with this one I always use my fingers. It's a beautiful shadow, again, I have it on my eye as well there, the, like, the glowy bit is from that shadow. But I feel like that's something I haven't used too much this month. I used it three or four times. So while I feel like there's a little bit of progress, it's not too much I feel like don't worry there will be some progress I just leave the big guns for the end <laughs> so another palette that I don't have too much progress on unfortunately is the Jeffree Star mini breaker palette and I don't know why I chose in a really awkward way to show you 
and it's the shade Double Scoop. So it's a beautiful mustardy shade. And even though I feel like I used it quite a lot because it's quite pigmented, you only need the smallest amount to get quite a nice effect. So I feel like whereas I used it a lot, you don't need a lot to get a desired effect from this. So it might be another shadow that will be with us for quite a long time. Now I don't really know how deep the pen is in this palette. So we'll see. Um, I have a feeling it's quite deep. But I don't own any other Jeffree Star eyeshadow palette either, so I have no reference whatsoever. But it's a beautiful shade, so I don't mind keeping it, and it's just simply the fact that I don't know how long it's going to take me to hit a pen on it. But um, I'm working on it, I enjoy using it, so we'll see. Now one that I don't know how much difference you will see on the pictures, but in real life I can definitely start seeing a dip forming, is the e.l.f. Hot Jalapeno palette. And I decided to work on this gold shade in the bottom. There's definitely a little dip starting to form in the middle. And this one I feel like you can use both with your fingers and with a brush. But again, it's quite pigmented, so you don't need a lot. Um, I think I have at least a picture of one look with it, so I can pop it here. But yes, it's a really nice gold shade. It reminds me a lot of the gold shade from the Juvia's Place Magic Mini palette. I feel like the two are very comparable. They're both beautiful gold shades and again, super pigmented, so I don't need a lot, but I feel like there's a nice little dip forming in the middle, so hopefully we can hit pen on it again. I have another palette, another two palettes from this series, but I don't know how like well how deep the pen is is all I wanted to say I don't know why I cannot talk so <laughs> well, we'll see and then the one that I'm super proud of and is featured in today's look as well in the outer corner is from the Barium Wildlife palette and it's the shade Pounds and with this one you can definitely definitely see the dip and I'm super proud of this because it's a really intensely pigmented shadow and it's really dark as well and usually with burgundies as much as I love them I really do I find that they're quite a bit harder to pen just because they're quite dark so it's sort of like a black or a dark brown I always find that dark colors are quite a bit harder to pen but I've done really well with this one but even based on the picture you can definitely tell there's a big dip going on in this one and I'm really proud of it I feel like this is potentially one that I can hit pen on it by the next update and then we can roll in something new. Now most of these shadows, while they were used, they were not heavily used, so I sort of knew that it will take me a while to hit pen on them, but I don't mind that. And also what I noticed is that because I'm reaching for these palettes to use those shades, I reach for these palettes a lot more. So for example, from the Wildlife palette, I was using Purr, and then I was also using Snarl, and I think I used Savannah as well. And then from the Mini Breaker palette, I also used Hot Fudge, and then I also used a Slice. I think there's a look where I used Double Scoop, Slice, and Hot Fudge. I think I have a picture of it. If I do, again, it will be here. And then from the Nikki Tutorials palette, I think I used Basic Tret. I'm pretty sure I also reached for Aura and Roxy Catan and Slasher, which is one of my favourites from the palette. So I know that I reached for these a lot more than I would have without this project. So that's definitely great news. Um, but that's that's it. Oh, also. I filmed a video in extension to this series, essentially, where I show you all the palettes that I've hit pen on in the past, whether there's one pen in there, or two, or three, or however many. <laughs> um, I feature ten palettes in there. Also, since then, I got a few more palettes that um, I got like as a present or whatever, so next time we roll in shadows, I will have more palettes to roll in from. But um, you know, this is exactly why we have this project. But anyway, I will link that video up in the cards and down below. And for now I'm gonna go so we can keep this video short and sweet. 
But let me know what you think of this project or if you want to join me, let me know. That would be great fun. And that's it for now. I hope you like this video and if you do, please give it a thumbs up and I'm eating my hair. But please, please consider subscribing. It would mean so much to me and it would be lovely to have you as part of this little community. But for now, I'm gonna go. I hope you have a lovely day. Lovely, lovely day. I cannot talk, but I hope you have a lovely day and bye bye.